Welcome back to King's Quest. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Look at that cape, man. I know. The cape physics. They, you can tell they spend a lot of time on that. Oh, yeah, they did. Like... Wait, actually... Just no clipping. That's like, true. It's kind of like... That's one of the worst things with, like, doing fabric is you kind of get the weird ridges and you usually get it clipping. They've done a pretty good job. Like they did in Assassin's Creed with What's-His-Face's backpack. <laughs> I don't, don't know. Don't remind me of that. I'll remind you of what I want to remind you of. Like Assassin's you, Creed do, has been downhill since they finished, like, Ezio's storyline. Like, you remember the Spanish Inquisition? God, the graphics on that was horrible. Oh, a shortcut. I remember. Do I take the shortcut? I don't know. I remember, I remember a clip from this that I saw from Game Grumps. Uh, that wolf scared Dan, and it was really funny. Not a kitty, not a <laughs> okay, which way do I go? I'm gonna go check out this way. You've Whoa. been here. You've you've been here. This that is the this tree. Is where this I is the go. fallen tree. What? Oh yeah, because you have the bread. Granddaughter, shut your fucking mouth and listen to my story. You still haven't found that replacement wheel. Hey, I'm not the one that's late for that turn. You didn't you know. hit item. Oh, piss off. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarbles News, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully, it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharge. I've got just a fix for that too, but we have important turn I remember last time we played this, I was gonna look up if that voice is done by Tom Kenny. So let me just quickly look that up. Before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so gracious, Tom Kenny and we're into the tournament. What? We're into the tournament to become king. Okay. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. For now, one shiny coin. Land, oh, shit. Old King Graham is voiced by Christopher Lloyd. Why didn't I put that together? It's so obvious now that I know. Yeah. Okay, I Tom never, Kenny. I can never remember Doc Brown's, like, actor, though. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah, I know, but like... <laughs> by the way, that merchant is voiced by Tom, Tom Kenny. Yep. You know Tom Kenny, right? Voice of SpongeBob. Yep. And also Ice King, as I just learned. Yeah. I'm not really good with putting voices to people. I like how he called him an illustrious cave. <laughs> this guy is nuts. A little bit. He's old. Old people tend to get a little bit nuts. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to the Grand Tournament. Hi, boy. You fucking pleb. I should be on the what? What? Commoner? What'd I say? No, it's... <laughs> oh, I was making a callback. Oh. Jesus, because pleb means I thought commoner. we were beyond this, and now you're just being rude. What? No! What the fuck? What does even happen? What? Kyle and Larry, they're off duty, don't ask. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon. And then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death so you're about to find or make someone in distress, aren't you? Yep. I'm about to show these knights what's what in their fucking addendums and shit. Yep. Fuck your rules. Fuck the police. 
We're about to rage against the fucking machine. The machine being government. We're about to fuck the system, son. Come at me, bees. Hey, look, bees. Nope, they're gone. Bees? Can you pick that up? Nope. No. Can you knock the other one out of the tree? I guess you're not gonna try, are you? Watch this. I just put someone in danger. <laughs> Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking Ugh. to me. Ugh. Nope. They're so stupid. Oh, I probably. Oh! I gotcha. I see what I gotta do. Okay. I gotta go do this. You again. gotta do that, and then you gotta knock down the bees. Yeah. And then they'll be distracted. While they're all still distracted. And... Distracted by bees. Learn how to swim, boy. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the bees. Uh -oh. Well, ain't that just the bees' knees? You ain't got nothing on me, honey. Baby cakes, doll face. <laughs> Now go do your shit. Whatever it was. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Why don't you figure out who that voice actor is? <sighs> What's the character? I don't know his name yet. Fuck! <clears throat> You're a hero. Why don't you just look up all the voice actors? Look up all the characters. I actually did. That's how I found Tom Kenny, but I guess I could do it again. Another horn and I need to borrow that dude's bow. Quickly to the internet movie database. There we go. Problem solved. What has Josh Keaton done? Hercules. Which voice did he do in Hercules? God, that moves from 1997? He did Young Hercules. Wow, this guy does a lot of young voices, because he also voiced Young Graham in this game. Huh. Alright, back onto this. First build only. Okay, so it's in order of when they appear. So we got him across. Now we need to do something about this. What kind of people are in here that we never would have guessed? There's not that many voices done in here, actually. That's the whole list. Now the big man's going to do something for me. Is he? So, Michael Leon Woolley plays Achaka, which is the dude with the bow. All oh, Sean plays Who is Who is this guy? This dude is... Pilar? Pilar? No, wait, that's one of the goblins. I have no idea who he is. I would wonder if that's Garth. I can't remember that dude's name. Either way, I have my root. Give me a second. I have the perfect plan. See? Sean Wallace. Huh. Fuck those dudes, I'm done. <laughs> You know, a lot of thought really has to go into the writing of this game in order to do stuff like this. And now this dick lock ran through. And he's totally fucked me. What a hero. What a genius. What a fucking smart man. That's one more across. 
They're still getting attacked by bees. So how are you to get across? Who the fuck knows? I was assuming you would. Shit. Careful, bud. You can't ignore me forever. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm deep in thought. <coughs> Ouch. In fact, there's actually a Princess Bride reference in this game. I'm not surprised whatsoever. So, uh, let's dealt with what else can I do around here. I think the big guy's named Acorn. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So he does the voice of both the big guys. And the Goblin Man. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. Hmm. Okay. I feel like there's more I can do. I think I might have to get a goblin to come over here and do something. But how would you do that? Who the fuck knows? I, like I said before, I would assume you. So I'm completely blocked off. So there's got to be something around here I'm missing. What am I missing? What do you it's have on you? super obvious. I have money. I have one gold coin left. I have a small hatchet for using responsibly. Meaning don't kill people. What does the rope do? Can you do anything with the rope? I don't know, but I'm going to do and this. And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. <laughs> I told you to shut your mouth. Let's see what happens if I do this. Look what I have. Want to build a rope swing? Okay, suit yourself. <laughs> you have rope. I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. You cut? No cutting. <laughs> <laughs> For using responsibly. Let's see what I can do with these guys. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Mm. These guys are very flamboyant, I notice. Yeah. That drink is pretty flamboyant. Yes, it is. That, uh, that pretty much sums up Smirnoff Ice. It's a woman's drink. And yet I drink them like nobody's business when I have them. Let's see if I can offer this dude money. Seems like a waste of money. Yep. Can you offer the uh, guys over there money? Maybe. Bribes don't work on us. Sorry. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm missing something here. I have caused enough distress for one afternoon. <laughs> I have no idea what you can do. I can't do anything over there. What else can I interact <clears throat> with? The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Hmm. Chop it down. I wonder how you could do that. How do you think this is going to work? I left a hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoyed. There we go. So you've built a raft, huh? Well, you're t so you're building a raft, huh? I assume. That's what I'm assuming. And then the short guy's gonna take your idea, isn't he? Or, no, things are going perfect so far. I swim? Oh, wow. What a sack. <laughs> what a sack. <laughs> what a sack. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how 
did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. The cat They'll never finger acknowledge earlier. it, you know. Kinda... It still stings a bit. That makes sense. He likes to play rough. <laughs> Does he? Have I seen your cat? No. I don't think so. I've seen... It, was it your dog? You've seen our shithead dog that we got rid of a long time ago. What was so shithead about it? It's shit everywhere. Did you ever consider maybe training it not to do that? No, it was like... My aunt got, had the dog first, I think, then she gave it to my grandmother, then my grandmother couldn't handle it anymore, so we took it and we tried to train it. We got sick of it, so we gave it to some old lady who needed a lap dog. I see. And now that little shithead lives half the year in Arizona. Alliance? Hmm. And eats steak dinners. That's not good for a dog, to my knowledge. Well, it's like, it's prepared by... A chef who specifically prepares meals for dogs, like it's raw steak, pretty much. Who has the fucking money for that? Rich old ladies. But why? With dead rich husbands. You could be using the money for something better, like, like. They have a place in Arizona. And you could do use the money for something better, like. What 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 kind of things would piss you off if I said them? Uh, funding Bernie Sanders, uh, atheist Bibles. <laughs> you mean uh, blank sheets of paper with no faith? <laughs> yes. I. Those are the only two I could come up with. Look at this Laura Croft shit right here. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, you finally made it across. Wait, I noticed that he said that no one else would have made it across if not for you. I mean, they, they, they would have made it across if they saw him walking across like Welcome that. Welcome to the night auditions. We've been recording for a long time. About as long as the last episode, so after this cutscene, we end. Simple as that. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. So that's how it works, huh? Yep. That's how he's able to store... It's on hammer space. It's lots of pockets. Filled with hammer space. What is there ever really a time in human history where capes were a common thing for people to wear? Yep. That's weird. And even today, they've taken on different forms, but they still exist. If by different forms you mean worn by neckbeards, then yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pleb neckbeards. Yep. And those weird corner kids. Corner kids? The ones who like to dress up as Homestuck. Should, should we have been paying attention? Try X. Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Alrighty. Hopefully that was a good answer. When it hey there, I'm Grant. Sure. I'm sure. And your name... The way his head moves is so Watch fucking this. weird. Watch this dude's name. Is this true? <laughs> Surely you just, Greg. This guy's what just a character and he's like from? himself. It's How just... Do you not recognize this? Well, and we have to remember his name. Well, it's not Greg. It's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Sir Ten of himself, <laughs> that jerk who pushed me into the river. Every woman's dream. Going to have to wait. I'll be right back. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. What a sack of shit. 
I like the way his uh, his, his his body movements every like, time he speaks. Literally everything about him is cocky. Yeah, it's amazing. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I don't want to be in this conversation. Gotta kind of pay attention to some of the stuff they say. And while you do that, I'm gonna find out what this voice actor has done other than this because Hang on, his voice wait, is no, very it's familiar. the end of the episode. It is. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. I'm Graham. Graham. Cr no, no last name. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am Is that so? in the process of Mathematical. Myself, starting with my name. Regnomics. I don't even know what that means. I just heard it from a ro robot chicken sketch once. Many years ago. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching. We will continue walking to these dickheads later. Y Yay. Remember to smash the living shit out of that subscribe button. You better. It's important to us. It'll hurt our feelings if you don't. Don't give us a shit about your feelings. <laughs>